Why did Evangelical Seminary choose a 78 credit Master of Divinity degree? Hi, I'm Jim Merman, Dean at Evangelical Seminary, and this is part of the Ask Jimmy the Dean series. So why did our particular institution do that? In a previous video, I let you know that uh, MDiv degrees can range anywhere from 72, uh, although they're quite rare, all the way up to 120 degrees, and that has to do with maybe the denomination you're a part of, or maybe you wanted to study at a school that had a particular emphasis on a particular theology and wanted extra courses around that. But there's tons of reasons why there's variation, but we did say that the average is hovering right around 80, deg 80, me, 80 degrees. Well, that depends on where you're studying in the country, but 80 credits for a typical program at the moment. We've chose 78, and let me tell you, those are hard-fought conversations. Our MDiv degree went from a 92 credit all the way down to a 78, and we had to have real honest conversations about what was an affordable degree, what was an accessible degree, and what were leaders of denominations or organizations actually looking for in these days. And we held numerous focus groups with various leaders of multiple denominations and church networks asking, what are the skills that you most value coming out of a degree now, and how can we get to those skills knowing that many networks and denominations are doing training themselves beyond that. And so we settled at a 78 credit degrees many years ago and we found that it's a good fit for what we're doing here. 